Hey guys, um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long ass time, actually. Oh, hello, Mike, don't fall. <laughs> uh, it's been a long ass time. Um, so, let me tell you what's been going on. Why, one, I um, have to, why I've been taking so long to uh, do this. And two, why I have to do what um, the title of this video says. So look, um, I'm not rich. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the FTC. The FTC is uh, apparently cracking down on YouTube at the moment, and because of this, it is. Let me turn down the brighter. Th there we go. Um, the FTC is targeting pretty much um, everyone on YouTube at the moment, and well, not just people on YouTube. Apparently they're even targeting um, I'm going to even do some little research here to read what the fuck is actually going on here. FTC on YouTube. Okay, so um, earlier this year YouTube got uh, fined by the FTC for a hundred I think a hundred thirty four million dollars because they fucked up by getting um, kids' data, or kids, not kids' data, I guess kids, um, I don't know the exact term of it. Um, I'm trying to find it. Oh yeah, right here. Because the FTC was uh, attempting to determine whether the site had violated the Children's Online Privacy Protected Act, uh, COPA. Under COPA, sites cannot collect information on children without the consent of their parents. And because YouTube is YouTube, um, technically, a parent really can't give consent. So, because of that, we YouTubers are almost impossible to determine that. Literally, it's based on the parents, but the parents are never to blame. It's always um, a site or something. So because of this, YouTube got fined uh, $200 million, apparently, according to this, unless they're just rounding it up. I don't know. But they got fined this much. And because of this situation as well, they decided to change their uh, policy with uploading. Now, here's the thing. Most of it sounds good. Like, it sounds like a decent way of trying to do it, but here's the problem that scares me and everybody else. The fact that we have to, one, we get to, like, select the rating, which I'm okay with. It's awesome. It's great. But here's the problem. YouTube is still putting a bot to determine if the thing is uh, children friendly. Yeah, it's no longer family friendly. It de determines if it's children friendly. Um, now, according to my mouth... <laughs> When I say that, I mean I cuss a lot. I cuss in almost all my videos. I say, fuck, shit, damn! I say all that crap. Um, but here's the thing. I'm afraid of... Up, I'm afraid of uploading this video. Because I don't know wh like how exactly it's going to crack down. Because the, here's the other thing. Um, according to this... Um... So here, here it is. Uh, pretty much, YouTube has an extensive list of characteristics of a kid targeted. Oh yeah, by the way, um, just let y'all know where I'm getting this. This is based off the nextweb.com. This might be completely off, but honestly, everyone on YouTube is talking about it right now. I just saw it last night from one of uh, YouTubers that I watch. Her name's Daria. She's part of the Vampire series. She, um, she's the artist of the Vampire series. If you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, she was talking about it, and I was like, what the hell are they talking about? Because I haven't heard this. I've been, honestly, I've been off YouTube because I've been trying to edit videos so then I can give you guys week to week. Um, I already have, <laughs> probably have like 10 videos, and I was planning on coming back soon, but I wanted to get y'all more, so then the new year, we can just keep on going and going and going, but... Because of this, I don't know if that's going to be possible now. Um, so let me continue reading what's going on. Um, YouTube has an extensive list of characteristics of a kid-targeted video, including includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures. Okay, this is why um, one of the YouTubers I watch, actually most, the majority of the YouTubers I watch are scared because in this situation, 
if um yes i know you guys are gonna hear my family i'm sorry about that in this situation if my uh, their characters that they created either for themselves or if they're making a story or something like hers she's part of the vampire series um it's gonna count as appeal to kids and because of this stupid bot that they have um it's gonna flag it as it's supposed to be for kids which means it's gonna get demonetized because it was claimed for children and then apparently the FTC is I don't know how the FTC is gonna go through it exactly because I don't know the actual guidelines but right now it's scaring me because I don't have that money and I don't need to d deal with this because of something that I decide to upload for fun like that, that's that thing that's what's really pissing me off is that everyone that does YouTube is doing it for fun or doing it because of their livelihood now FTC is coming in and deciding to fuck all that shit per video by the way no no it's not just the whole channel one thing nah -uh. they're doing it per video so in other words say um say I have like five videos that are not me cussing and are like actually for kids okay say I have like five of those 42,000 <laughs> times five no, I am not going to deal with that. So that's why I might have to quit YouTube because of this. Because I don't know what I did in my in the past. I don't know what I did in my videos. I know I cussed. So who knows, I might be safe because I cuss. But that's what it kills the dream. I wanted to do YouTube so then I could build, not a career, but so then I could have... Um, see, I don't even like saying like fans and shit because it sounds like oh you're just doing it for the shit no I, I, I wanted to do it because I wanted to help people escape because um even when I was doing Bad Boys Girl everyone was saying I was an escape they enjoy the content I made and all that stuff and now because of this it feels like I can't even do that no more like I honestly I was coming back with another episode series because I already have like four videos ready for that but now I can't because I don't know if it counts as characters because apparently also another ruling that counts as appeal to children is video games and my channel is video games so that's where it's a bit concerning because I don't know what's gonna happen I play video games on here I don't know if it's gonna be considered that or not because I cuss I cuss a shit ton and my mouse is gonna get me in trouble and then if I don't cuss and it's a video game and it goes with children and all that shit, I, I'm still go I'm gonna get in trouble. So that's why I feel like I gotta delete the channel because of this shit. But let me continue reading. Let me see if I can find some shit that's gonna be like a loophole. Um, okay. We gotta know. It's, I don't know. It's just fucking confusing. Um, includes activities that appeal to children, empirical evidence of the video's audience. Uh, of course, this leaves creators in an odd position. Hello? Any video they mark as being for children will not have a comment section. I think that's pretty fucked up. Um. Oh no, actually, any video they mark as being. Okay, I read that wrong. Okay, no, that's not fucked up. That's actually a pretty good idea because it keeps them away from uh, trollers and shit and other uh, channels that are trying to get something off them. Or what PewDiePie was going through, and this is why he uh, disabled his comments for a while. Um, there was imposters on the comment section saying, oh, I'm pewds, oh, buy my shit, and it wasn't even his shit, and he got, like, everybody was getting scammed, so I think that's a good idea, but everything else is bad, okay, so let's continue going, um, info, okay, so they won't have comment section, info cards, personalized ads, ads, or a number of other things many video markers rely on, yeah, okay, uh, such videos would probably not net the creator much revenue. In other words, if it is for kids, they can't do all the shit they've been normally doing, even this year or even the last year. They have no choice but to take what they can get. And technically, it won't even be that much pay. It's going to be like... Oh, God. If I want to do like actual math, I'm, I want to say 25%, but I could be completely off. It might, that's all they might make from what they're making now. 25% out of the 400 and I think that's pretty fucked up I don't think that should be even I don't know I just don't think that sh should be a thing it, I'm sorry but I, I, fuck you YouTube <laughs> okay so lack of personalized ads cut revenue 
Oh yeah, uh, Tube Filter estimated the lack of personalized ads could cut a revenue by up to 90%. Okay, that's even worse than what I was saying. <laughs> They're only gonna get 10% of the video, which is sort of stupid <laughs> if you think about it, because that just makes it like, oh, well, I mean, what's the point of fucking doing YouTube? I'm not gonna get paid that much. Because, I mean, I don't know how much a paycheck is from YouTube. I don't know. If I did, I might be okay with this. But I don't. And because of this, I don't want to risk it. So then let me also continue reading. Um, so what happens if they just don't mark the video as being for kids? Well, if the video is ruled to be for kids without having been labeled as such, the creator, the content creator could be sued by the FTC directly. So in other words, here's the problem. If I play video games, which apparently is a thing that appeals to kids, and I put that it's not for kids, I could get sued for the FTC for that video. I, no, <laughs> I can't do that. Um, this video is not for kids, let me tell you all that right now, because god fucking damn it, kids are fucking up YouTube right now. Y'all's parents, y'all need to listen to y'all's damn parents when they tell you get off motherfucking YouTube, because dear hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I know, honestly, kids can't help it, and I know that um, they need a role model, and to be honest, YouTube is, YouTube is a place to where I was able to find um, role models and all that stuff, and Honestly, I do, I let my nephew and them watch YouTube. Uh, yeah, I know this uh, YouTube kids, but um, th they have, like, they f have a role model. Like my nephew, he has role models, but I mean, honestly, they're questionable. But if I find them questionable, I tell them to get the hell out of it. Um, I do let him watch one YouTuber. He does Minecraft videos, and he is a father, by the way. So this is why I was okay with him doing it, because I knew my nephew would be safe watching his Minecraft series and all that stuff. Now it's Fortnite and shit, I don't let him watch because Fortnite is a bit concerning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, because of this, I'm scared on what's gonna be, <laughs> like, that's, I feel like that's a bit much. I don't think they need to sue for if it's, like, I, I don't understand that. That's what makes no fucking sense. So, because we're saying, oh, you can't, can't watch this R-rated version of a kid's thing, uh, <laughs> you, you're going to get sued $42,000. $42, that makes fucking sense. Where's the logic? I don't understand. You're literally saying, oh, you're going to get sued if you like tell the kids don't watch your shit. Like, that, that's how dumb it sounds. Like... If they don't set their audience, YouTube also warns it can set it for them. Oh my god. As you, uh, yeah, as you may expect, YouTubers are not pleased with the changes. Hell no. <laughs> uh, several have questioned whether this applies to any content that child might watch. Gaming videos that feature kid-friendly games, for example, are required to comply with this. Oh my fuck. See, here's the problem. I don't know about, um... Fuck, I don't know about episodes. <laughs> this is this is why I'm scared. Cause th this is why I'm scared. I'm scared because episodes I have kids watching Bad Boys Girl. Like there are kids that have gone into the comment section and say, dude, you kiss a lot, man. I'm nine years old. I don't know if I can pop it up here, but if I can pop it up here, I'll pop it up here and show that there was a child that said that and they do watch my stuff. And even in gotcha Fuck, gotcha world. <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have to take out Gotcha World. Oh my god, no <laughs> Fuck I was coming back with that too Ah I'm so mad <laughs> I was trying to come back with Gotcha World and episodes, but now I don't think I can because of this shit. Like this is what's concerning me. I don't know if I can come back with this. Because the video games if Honestly, I don't even care about monetization anymore. I really don't, because it's not going to happen. The way I am is old-fashioned YouTube, to where I can cuss all I want, say the shit that I want, and I can be fine. But you want to know what y'all are getting now? Y'all going to get one that says poop instead of shit.
Like that that's what's dumb about it. I don't understand why they're going into the, the new rule goes into effect on chat. So I So this is happening. No, I'm really fucking pissed. I I don't know what to do here, guys. Um Like, I miss YouTube the way it used to be. Um, if there's anybody I could blame for this, I would say the COO of uh, YouTube. Mainly because all this shit started happening, because she got into this shit at 2014. And that's when shit started going like a bit downhill, if you think about it. Um, like, I don't know. Honestly... I think this whole bot shit is what's really throwing like everything off. I don't think there should be a bot. Now, unless the FTC said there needs to be a bot, then, well, we can't do anything. I feel like YouTube is dead now. There's no reason to be coming out on YouTube. There's no reason to be doing this anymore. Um, and honestly, apparently they even said that it might even go on to Twitch and Mixer. Uh, that's not confirmed, but they're saying that that that's what it pretty much was saying on another video that I was watching or an article that I was reading that um, I don't remember what that article was from exactly but it was saying pretty much that Mixer and Twitch may go through the same problem and because of this it feels like there is no way there is nowhere to go with it like there's nowhere and because of this I th just think I'm done um, I don't think the whole gaming thing is gonna work out no more. I don't think me doing what I do is gonna work out no more. Um, God, I mean, it's, it sucks, really. It really sucks. And this was honestly like, it's, it's upsetting me mainly because I wanted to find something out of this. And what was that you're asking? Uh, mainly, I guess, voice acting, if you think about it, because um, I was voicing a lot of characters in, um, uh, I guess my voices aren't the best, but, I mean, I wanted to give it a try, you know? I wanted to give it a try and then maybe give, um, more voice acting chances stuff. Just, just stuff, you know, with voice acting, but now it feels like I can't do that because the FTC is just gonna be coming in hot! <laughs> um, I just wish YouTube would give us more detail on what to do. They're being very vague with everything they're talking about. Um, honestly, I'm not going to do it immediately. Like, just shut down everything. Um, but I think at the end of December, or on December 31st of this year, if uh, ruling and everything isn't, like, completely, um, like, decided, I need to delete this channel because, um... If I don't, I'm probably going to get sued for a lot of money. And I honestly don't need that. I have a family right now that um, I'm struggling a hell lot right now just to help. And if one of my videos get flagged for being for kids, but because of my mouth, it can't be for kids. And the FTC come at me with it. Um, I, I can't deal with it. Um, I do think it's dumb at the FTC is doing this I think they need to just worry about the kids data they don't need to be targeting creators for being creators they need to be targeting these damn parents who are letting these kids watch these creators like it's not the creators fault for expressing who they are on a platform to where you should express who you are that's how we've had so many like influences in our lives like there's been so many influences everywhere and sad to say and yes i do mean a sad to say because logan paul is technically one of those people he is an influencer he has influenced some people now i don't mean it as in a bad way of influencing i mean there could be bad way but then there's also a good way too there's there's always going to be a, a yin and yang with this shit um now i don't think that the FTC should be going this extreme because that's just making it seem like 
YouTube is now the government. And that's it. No more expressing who you are. No more um, giving people dreams of what to be. Like, honestly, if you ask anybody now, they were going to say, oh, I want to be a YouTuber. Like, any kid in high school, they're going to say they want to be a YouTuber. But now they don't understand the actual problems that's going on. And then they're going to come in blind and then get flagged for something that's supposed to be for kids and then get sued $42,000? I mean, that's just ridiculous. I'm doing this because I wanted to make videos with my friends because it was our dream to make videos with each other. Like, it was our dream just to do that. Now, yes, I don't have my friends in a lot of my videos, but that's because we're dealing with life. Life's a pain in the ass. And this is just another thing. Honestly, I wanted to come to YouTube just as an escape. And that's what I was using it with, with Bad Boys Girl, Gotcha World. It was my escape. And now, because of this, I... Where do I go from here? Like, I mean, if it's going to happen to Mixer, going to happen to Twitch, I can't really do anything. Now, why I mention Twitch and Mixer? Because I'm on, well, I'm not on Twitch. I tried being on Twitch. I didn't like how Twitch came out. Twitch came out like shit. A mixer, on the other hand, mixer came comes out perfectly fine, and I don't have to use my laptop. I can just use it through my Xbox because I've been trying to do it through my laptop, but my laptop's too shit to even do anything. So I do it through my Xbox, and honestly, it, it's the best quality I have. Um, I know it's not the best, best, but it's the best I can deal with. I would love to do more, but. Now it just seems like there's no point. I feel like my YouTube days are done. And I honestly want, I'm honestly disappointed now because I wanted to bring Destiny to y'all. Like Destiny 2, I wanted to bring that to y'all because I'm getting, I'm having fun with Destiny. Literally, I talk so much shit with Destiny. I'm like, come on, big bubba. Oh shit, don't kill me. I'd say all that crap. Like honestly, I have more fun with Destiny than I had with Overwatch. But now I can't do that because the FTC is going to be hunting down shit that's for kids and if they're gonna do that with a video game I I can't do it I honestly can't um, honestly what they should do with the video games they should go by the actual rating of the game itself not just because oh it's a video game no it needs to be based on the rating of the game as well because I mean if it's for teens technically that's not for kids but then I gotta look at that. Um, now, here's the other thing. Y'all guys are gonna question, well, why don't you just cuss more? Why don't you just do uh, M rated games? Because, well, one, my games are all M rated anyways. But here's the other problem I don't, like, it's not specified with the game part. It just says, oh, video games, computer games. That's all it says. It doesn't say, um, it doesn't say anything. Like, honestly, I don't feel any... It doesn't feel safe uploading or even having the channel stay. Because now it feels like I have to go in there and do this. Um, I really don't want to. I really don't want to even cancel this channel. I want to keep this channel. I want to keep the videos that are up. But I'm afraid that they're going to hunt down my videos. And... I'm going to be screwed. So, I think if anything, I think in the middle of December, actually, because I don't want to take any chances doing it on the 31st, because they might just flag some of my shit. Um, I think I need to just delete my channel. Honestly, you know what? I'm probably just going to do it after 24 hours of this, because... Um, it sucks. It really does suck, because... Um, God damn. <laughs> yes, just hear my sister. <laughs> uh, family. Yeah, I know. I. I'm I'm very disappointed at the moment because um I really wanted to come back. I wanted to come back. I want to do videos, but um 
I don't feel like I can. And it also sucks because I feel like, um, I don't know. I just think I'm angry. I'm pissed. I think this whole uh, idea is stupid. And them talking to the creators isn't fair. I think they should just talk at YouTube because YouTube is the one collecting the data. It's not the creators. And it's not even, honestly, you know what? It's not even YouTube's fault. Anything CPS needs to come in to take those damn kids away. You wanna know why? The parents are the ones doing it. Okay, the parents are the ones not controlling the kids on what the hell they watch. But that—that's not how the rules work. So that's not gonna happen. CPS ain't gonna do that. And either way, <laughs> CPS wouldn't even get involved because it's not even like damaging to the kid. But honestly, I think actual <laughs> law-wise, um. Only YouTube should be targeted. Sad to say. Um, I don't think the creators deserve to be hunted down for the shit. Um, I don't know if my shit's been re-uploaded. I don't think it has, but um, honestly, it's not on my channel. Um, I'll just... Delete channel, I guess. I don't know what else to do, guys. I really wish there was something I could do, guys. Um, I have been thinking of probably just going to another platform. Uh, at first, I was thinking just Mixer, but if it goes there and hits there, uh, there's no way I can do it. Um, I don't know how I've been thinking of Vimeo. I've been thinking of, I've been thinking of a lot of places to try this, but. I don't have any answer. Alright. Well, um, thank you all for listening to me to rant for, I don't know how long this video has been going, but thank you all for listening to me ranting about how I feel about this whole fucking thing. I think it's stupid. I don't think it's fair. Uh, I think YouTube should at least give more, um, I guess specification on what's going on with this whole thing um honestly i just sort of want to I, I just want to delete my channel right now because i don't want to risk it because i don't know what's going to be on what and if youtube doesn't respond to like actually january 1st to where the ftc will start hunting i mean what the what the fuck <laughs> you know i can't risk it i have a family i it, that's too much money for me to I won't even see a check. My family will be homeless. That's how bad this whole thing is. And honestly, the guy, um, whoever's in charge of the FTC, y'all guys are dumb. Yes, target YouTube. But why do y'all have to go for the creators? That's what I'm not understanding. Like, y'all guys are targeting creators for being themselves, for uploading, all that stuff, but that still doesn't specify what's wrong. You know, I don't, like nothing's getting specified. Everything should get more specified, more everything. Because if not, I guarantee you, it won't even be a month, but YouTube will be shut down. YouTube will be, you, like, there's not even a point of even making this video. Because but it's, excuse me by the way but there's just not a point I don't want to do this I like I'm going to do some more digging I'm not going to delete the channel yet but if anything on the, fir on the first week of December um, I'm probably going to delete the channel because I don't need it I don't need any of this shit <laughs> I really don't I've already been through so much shit this year. Um, I don't need any more. Because I want to start focusing my life not on um, 
this shit. And honestly, I thought YouTube was going to be that way of my life. Or going to be my part of my life for a very long time. But apparently, it's not. So, it sucks. I couldn't even finish Kingdom Hearts. One, two, and three. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. You also. Okay. Well, that's it for me, guys. I'm sorry if this is uh, upsetting anyone. Um, honestly, there's going to be a lot of YouTubers getting hit with this. Honestly, even PewDiePie's uh, saying he's going to get hit with this pretty hard because it's Minecraft series. Um. God, I don't know what to do. Alright, well. This will probably be the last video I guess see of me. If not, I guess I'll see you on the next video of if whatever the hell I ever make, I guess. If I do make anything. If not, Sorry I couldn't be here for y'all longer, guys. <laughs>